This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. Stick around, and in just a moment, I'm going to talk about an offer that can help you secure yourself online. Before I get to that, though, politics is no the norm for me. That's kind of my wheelhouse, and that's primarily what I talk about. However, issues related to how we deal with one another in society are important, and they bleed into politics, and politics bleeds back in to how we comport ourselves. Certainly, the justice system has to deal with politics. Certainly, equal justice under the law does as well. In this case that I want to talk about today with Amy Cooper, you may remember, I'm going to play a clip to remind you, absolutely plays into something that we should all be very, very cognizant of. We should be paying attention to. It should be at the forefront of our minds because it points to how we should have an orderly run society. Because if there is no equal justice under the law, then there is no justice. If one group gets treated differently than another, then there is no justice. Before I get to that, though, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark. Whether it be keeping up with the news by watching YouTube videos like you are right now, or being on social media, or shopping online more, since we're all at home a lot more, we're online a great deal. And that means we're at higher risk. There are those out there who are waiting to take advantage of us online. The best way to keep ourselves safe online is by using a reputable virtual private network or VPN. I personally use and recommend Surfshark. And for a limited time, using my link, surfshark.deal slash dollamore, you can get 83% off of a two-year plan and three extra months completely free. Getting it through my link makes your subscription only $2.21 per month, so you can browse securely on all of your devices all of them simultaneously. If you're not using a VPN like Surfshark, all your data sent via the internet, including passwords, private messages, and your credit card numbers, anything that you consider private and sensitive is more at risk. Surfshark encrypts all those data you send over the internet, protecting it using industry-leading security and data encryption, but doing it by being super simple to use, which is something that's very important to me. Go to surfshark.deal slash dollamore to get 83% off and know that they are so confident you're gonna love your new security, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, let's move on with today's topic. Amy Cooper, who just was let off the hook, not acquitted, she didn't go to trial. The charges were just dropped. If you don't remember, this took place just a few months ago in Central Park when a black man, a bird watcher, asked her to leash her dog, which is the law. This happened as a result of that. I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking a picture and calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. There is an African-American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. I'm being threatened by a man into the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. So not only is she choking her dog, she's also accusing a black man with to the authorities in, with the spate of, of, of criminality and brutality that is visited upon black men in this country, she decides to weaponize that. And now, well, after charges were brought, this is what, I'm gonna read from the New York Times. Amy Cooper, who falsely accused black bird watcher, has charges dismissed. Ms. Cooper, a white woman called 911 on a bird watcher in Central Park, Prosecutors asked a judge, prosecutors asked a judge to drop the charges after she finished an education program about racial bias. 
The case against Amy Cooper, the white woman who called the police on a black bird watcher in Central Park and falsely told them that he had threatened her, was dismissed on Tuesday after Miss Cooper completed a therapeutic education program that included instruction on racial biases. At a hearing in M Manhattan Criminal Court, the prosecution, again, the prosecution asked that the charges be dropped for the white woman who endangered the life of the black man because she attended a couple classes and they were deeply moving. Uh, the prosecution asked a judge to dismiss one count of filing a false report against Miss Cooper and the, ju the judge immediately did so. The therapy focused on the way that racial identities shape people's lives an assistant district attorney said at the hearing. The prosecutor, Joan Aluzzi, said Ms. Cooper's therapist reported that their five sessions together were, quote unquote, a moving experience, and that Ms. Cooper learned a lot. So a kid steals a backpack, can't afford bail, and ends up killing himself in jail after years in confinement not having ever been brought to trial. And Miss Cooper, who endangered the life of an innocent, unarmed black man, gets let off the hook, gets the charges dropped. It's not even like a reduced sentence. It's that there is no sentence to carry out because the charges have been dropped. This is a two-tiered justice system. And this isn't even the rich and the powerful have it differently than the rest of us. This is just regular old white lady has it differently than someone of color in New York City, which should come as no surpri surprise or shock to anyone that New York City has a terrible civil rights record related to criminal justice and policing. But this is outrageous. There is zero consequence for Miss Cooper. Zero punishment. Zero meaningful apology for what she did. In fact, her lawyer tweeted today, her lawyer, Robert Barnes, the defense attorney, and this is what he tweeted. Tell me if you think this uh, shows contrition at all. It seems to me he's leveling other threats or trying to divert Blame on to someone else. After a thorough and honest inquiry, the New York DA's office dismissed all charges today against hashtag Amy Cooper. We thank them for their integrity and concur with the outcome. Others rushed to the wrong conclusion based on inadequate investigation, and they may yet face legal consequences. What's the threat there? Robert Barnes, are you insinuating that, that maybe Chris Cooper, the victim in all of this, may face charges? Or that commentators such as myself may, may face legal consequences, r rushing to the wrong conclusion based on inadequate investigations? We've seen the video. We also heard her tepid apology in the aftermath, trying to, 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 to mete out a, a lower, lesser sentence, which apparently worked, because she had the charges dropped. Dropped. Not even, not even some kind of a, 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 a probation situation. She utilized government resources inappropriately she leveled char accusations of her life being threatened while abusing her dog, and nothing happens. She had to go to therapy, which good for her. Maybe she needs therapy. It could be a very useful tool. It should be a part of all of our lives to seek help in that matter. But it is not a substitute for criminal justice. And what she did was criminal. 
but apparently five sessions of therapy that became a moving experience and that help you learn a lot are a substitute for consequence. Anyway, I would love to know what you think about this. Th these matters are important to our everyday lives and to the lives, if not of you specifically, of your neighbors and of your fellow citizens. 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. I appreciate any and all feedback, especially if you dissent. The other thing I would ask is that you consider, just think about it, becoming a channel member and helping support my work here on YouTube. For as little as $2 a month, you can become a channel member. Click the join button below the video there and uh, help support my independent analysis and commentary of the news. It would be greatly appreciated. Follow me on social media. Love to connect with you there. And I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.